Oh, what's that hanging by my leg, you ask? Oh, well, uh, let me explain. These are the sweet new work for it lanyards that everybody has been asking for for a long time. We've included a detachable clip on there just to keep it uh, you know, separate so it's not rub on your leg when you're driving. Also allows you to uh, pull your keys off and use them if needed. Got a nice sweet metal clip here on the end to attach to your keys or key ring. And yes, we've got a whole batch of them that is going to be available over at workfortapparel.com. I'll put a link right there. Now, today you may be wondering, what is it that we've got planned? Well, unfortunately, it's not good stuff. You know, we, uh, with the last couple of rainstorms, I had mentioned in a previous video that my ABS light was on as well as the parking brake light was on. Um, but it would only come on when it rained or when it was really wet out and then once everything dried up it would go off But unfortunately now it's been staying on um, And it might be something as simple as like low brake fluid or whatever it may be But regardless brakes are something I don't want to mess around with um, And I think we should take that seriously and the fact that it hasn't gone off You know the the kind of the joy of these old trucks is sometimes lights come on and then they go off and then you never see them again And you're good you know, the check engine light being on um, is really one of those non-issues that's not worth fixing. And it's not really detrimental to the truck, so that's why you always see the check engine light on. But brakes, you know, I don't want those to fail. So we're going to head over to Preston's kind of unannounced. And I guess we'll see, you know, how well we get taken care of, which, I mean, they always take care of us pretty damn good. That's for sure. Uh, but hopefully they got time. I mean, I'm going to stay that watch and there's going to be like a crazy line going out the door, but we'll see. Oh, look, they're doing some fumigating over there. And we are back. Ooh, looks like we got a lot of Duramaxes in here today. You know, I can't wait until we start coming back here to get like cool parts put on a truck with like my project LBZ that I'm looking for instead of fixing old trucks. We'll take a few lanyards here. You know every once in a while I like to leave some work for gear here over at Preston's. I put a little shout out on Instagram so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram make sure you follow me at DMAX Rhino and uh, let people know they're here and if you want them come get them for free. Or the one, the one we don't fix on. The Peter Dooley still needs to be aligned. It's a part number six. It almost fits on the alignment rack. It is beautiful dually. Hey, we just barely squeezed it on there. Look at that. See, we got Duramax. Duramax on the alignment rack. Duramax over here. And then we got a 1500. So I've been getting absolutely blown up with emails and direct messages of you guys sending me uh, 2006 Duramaxes that you guys have been finding all over Craigslist and I really, really, really do appreciate that guys. Trust me, um, having that many people out there scouring their local Craigslist, their local offer up, their local dealerships really does help me out um, in being able to spread my search out all over the country. Now that being said, I would just like to clarify uh, one thing and that is exactly what it is that I'm looking. I guess I wasn't that clear in the first video talking about it, but I am not looking for this color of a truck. I know this is weirdly the most common and most popular color of the 2006 trucks out there, whether it be Chevy or GMC, this one's a GMC, but um, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. If I were to get this color truck, I'd end up having to wrap it or do something like that. And I would just like to avoid that. To me, what I'm looking for is a white 2006 or 2007 classic. Those are the LBZ years. Um, I've had a few people sending me like 2003s. I'm looking for 2006, 2007 classic style, which would be the same body style, but in a 2007. White crew cab, short bed, four wheel drive with, let's see. Oh, he's got the tan interior. I want the black interior with the captain's chairs up front and the little center console there. That is why my search is taking so long is I'm pretty specific in what I want. Um, obviously low miles, obviously well taken care of, and obviously as stock as I can find it. Now, obviously for the right price, I mean, you know, I would settle for this color and just wrap it, but just keep in mind that is exactly what I'm looking for is a white one with black interior. And I don't know what it is about the GMC front ends on uh, the 06s, but to me, I just really, really prefer the, uh, the Chevy front end over it. The Cat Eye front end is one of my favorite front ends that GM ever put out. It's just, I don't know, for some reason, this doesn't do it for me. In red, weirdly, they look great. 
Uh, but any other color, it's just, it's hard to make the front ends of these trucks look good, whereas the Chevys, it's just super easy. But it's pretty cool that we've got a couple generations here. I mean, obviously that's a 1500, but we've got, a, I'm guessing 06. We've got a 2007 and up. And then we've got what would be a 15 and up dually over there. Pull the truck in right now. Oh man, it is getting cold outside. They are calling for a lot of snow tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to organize a little snow trip with the guys and see if we can get a bunch of trucks up. Kind of uh, back to where we went last time, but apparently we went to the wrong spot. And uh, I think our good buddy Duramax BBQ really knows where we should be going uh, to get some real snow. So maybe, maybe that'll happen tomorrow. I don't know. Uh oh, look at the head honcho. I got no one else that can do it, dude. I am fucking very shitless. So it's you and me, fella. All right. How'd you get way over there? That's a good question. All right. All right. Oh, jeez. That's what we do fast. Pretty selfish. Well, I know if I call, you're going to say bring it in. <laughs> Hope we just show up. Yeah. Show up with a fucking mind game, too, on a fucking 97 piece of shit. Still okay. running like a champ. What is the ABS module on this thing? Do you see it over there? It's like a little aluminum thing with a shitload of hoses coming out of it. Thank you, Tori. Oh, well, they made it nice and easy to get to, huh? It only has ABS on the rear. So apparently, the scanner that they're using is kind of like the 97's, like a weird in-between year as to whether or not the OBD2 port um, will read it versus like some of the old school methods of pulling codes. The OBD2 port is showing the code for the check engine line, but it's not showing the ABS code. Oh, that's pretty slick. Hey, Rhino, why don't you work on your own vehicles? Well, you see, I mean, the amount of specialty tools you have to have, including like a brake pedal pusher, you know, like the amount of money I would have to spend to gather that many tools right off the bat would be crazy. I mean, I understand a brick works just the same, but you know what I'm saying? Like it, it takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of learning that I don't really have time to sit there and do while I'm actually trying to work a full-time job. So to me, it's easier just to swing by, have them take care of it and we're good to go. So Preston ordered a part that should be here uh, in a little bit. They got a parts delivery person bringing it. While we do that, let's make our little uh, Instagram post here, letting people know there's gonna be key tags here. What's up guys? We're over here filming a YouTube video at, of course, the world famous Preston's. So check this out. Oh, hold on. Switch camera, switch camera, switch camera. Everybody say hi to Randy. Hi guys. Friendliest. I think they got the parts I need in the Speedway Motors catalog. Are you still looking for those pasties? I'm still looking for, what did you say pasties? Yeah. yeah, man, I'm trying to find the pasties. Work for it pasties? Work for it pasties. No, but like, who's really, I mean, I guess there are still some of those old school guys out there, but I mean, with the internet, is anybody really coming into these magazines and waiting for this to show up at their house before they can start ordering parts? I've been looking for a Philonic carb spacer. And I'm glad that this magazine just came in so I can order mine for $19.99. Ooh, do we need a three bolt carb based gasket for $1.99? I mean, these catalogs can't be cheap to print. Oh, jeez. I think there's free stuff. No, there's not free stuff for you guys. Oh, why not? Man. This is not fair. You guys are. <laughs> I don't know, Barbara, but I'm just jealous of that mustache, buddy. Dude, she's stellar. Right? She's stellar. Look at that. Look, at, You guys don't work or what? No. No. God, no. That's for the bees. <laughs> or just if you want to go to Laguna right now. Let's go tomorrow. Want to go play in the snow? Let's go tomorrow. Uh, the, uh, the old 6.0 is not running that, that well. <laughs> well. I wonder why. It's because it's a 6.0. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's hear about how bad Duramaxes are. Oh, wait. They're not. No, I, I don't a Duramax. You own know a Duramax? Yeah, I would. You should. I didn't shut her How's off. How's your coming doing, buddy? Oh, Ronald, good champ. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You taking that up just now? Oh, yeah. Looking good. Now you guys got to model them. Oh, you want to model them? Yeah. Well, my keys model are- Model them with your sweet pants, bro. What are you wearing? This is what I wear to work. I wear, cover I wear coveralls every day at work. Those? You're not like these 15-year-old kids running around, dude. Bro. Who's your truck, dude? We've never seen your truck. Come on. Right. Well, let me take my trash before Randy gets mad at me. Sorry, but- oh. You can't see inside this, Barry. Inside is worse than your 7.3. No, man, it's, it's a truck. It's supposed to be dirty. 
Oh, we left it running? I didn't want her to not start. Oh, okay. six, so you always gotta leave it running. That's fair. She's dirty. What do we got, uh, what are those, fuels? Fuel revolvers, 20 by 10 on uh, 35, 12 and a half, R20, Toyo MTs, uh, Bilstein shocks, bulletproofed. You got a bigger turbo in it or is that the stock turbo? It's stock turbo with built internals. Gotcha. Sounds good. I like it. Who wiped it down? Oh, uh, so actually, Josh pranked me last night. Oh, Josh pranked you. What did he do? I'll show you. He won't admit to it. He will not admit to it. Oh, you know it was him. You can't trust that guy. But I know for a fact it was him. Hey, it's cold out here. It's cold. So walk into my truck at five in the morning. This is what I see. <laughs> oh, dude. Are you gonna go to prom with him? I mean, only if he puts out. Oh, you know he does. <laughs> you look freezing, buddy. I'm freezing. <laughs> I thought this was Southern California. Well, hey, the lanyard looks good, though. It looks good on you. Sure. Here, hook some keys on it. Let me get a picture of you. Do that. Just, just clip those keys on it. Hey, listen, it's I gonna make you look. Are you single? What? Yes. All right, dude. This is gonna. I clip if I drive your truck. Clip the GMC's logo on there. You're gonna get way more chicks on your Tinder profile than you would with a set of keys to your Cummins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get out of here. I'm sorry, man. I can't no, do it. Clip them on. I can't, I can't, I can't do it, dude. It's the best day it ever hurts. for you. It hurts. Look at it. Just do it. I can't do it. Just do it. Oh, dude, your model status right now. Put, hey, put the heat lamp down. Yeah, you need the glasses on. Alright, let's see a burnout. Let's see a burnout. Don't blow the engine. <laughs> Oh boy. You do have what a, a no Tom, get what, what do I got? What's wrong with it? All tell right, me, Randy. Tell me, buddy. You have a bill. I got it right. Oh, I got a bill? Thanks, buddy. Much love. Oh, these look like fun to mount. <laughs> oh, come on. What's heavier? Those are my tires. Uh, they look close. These? Those are heavier? Yeah, that's fun stuff. <laughs> Make sure you put the put the tube in there, okay? Yeah. Hey, it's a nice little wheel step. Up, buddy? Too bad it doesn't fit on my truck, huh? Or does it? It does. It does? Uh, no, not on the big truck. No, not on the 40? Hey, thanks, buddy. I heard you got that all dialed in for me. Hello? Was it a wheel speed sensor? Nice. And a little bit of brake fluid. And a little bit of brake. It was a little low, huh? Yeah, just a smidge. Yeah, well, hey. You know? I got to get my money's worth out of the brake fluid that I put in it, so... Thanks, buddy. Hey, if it was a Chevy, we would stop. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> You're the best. Love you. All righty then. We got a nice fresh truck back all together here. Let's see. We get no lights. Look at that. Just a standard old check engine light. That's what I like to see. So apparently there's been like some stomach flu going around this place. I need my hand sanitizer like an hour ago. I don't even know where it is. Oh, I found it. Found it next to Gunner's squirrel back there. Oh man, we gotta load up on this stuff. Sanitize the wheel. In case you guys don't know, um, I'm quite the germaphobe and I do not want any stomach related anything. We're just gonna hand sanitize the shit out of everything in the truck. All right guys, well, I'm happy to say the truck is back in operating order. I'm still on the hunt for an LBZ and we should be finding out at some point in the next day or so if we've got uh, some other cool stuff coming. Oh, and hopefully tomorrow ends up being another snow day for us because as you can see, it is already starting to rain and we are supposed to get way more snow than we got last time because apparently what we got last time was not considered snow. But uh, we will see, we will see. Everybody is claiming right now, they're committing that we are gonna go into the snow. So we'll see who shows up tomorrow. But with that, we're gonna wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because well, we got the new lanyards in stock and if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out, later. Damn.